today's daily shout outs. Congratulations, guys. If you guys want a chance to win a shout out on my next video, just leave a nice comment down below. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Lissy. Be sure to hit the subscribe button for free tacos because I really like tacos. And I hope you guys like tacos too. Also guys, if today's video gets to 20,000 likes, I will do more videos like today's video. So if you guys did not watch my previous Elf on a Shelf videos, I suggest you guys watch those because it got crazy. Also, if you guys don't know anything about Elf on a Shelf, let me catch you guys up really quick because the tea is hot. So basically, Elf on the Shelf was a children's toy that was invented way back. Elf on a Shelf was created and or inspired by a children's book written about an elf. This elf was actually known to sit on top of a shelf and actually watch kids during the Christmas season. What's scary about it is as innocent as it seemed, just a cute little elf sitting on a shelf. A lot of people show a dark side to these elves on a shelf. I actually didn't know how crazy dark this got, but there's literally been videos of Elf on a Shelf caught moving all by himself. Explain that. How does that even work? How does an elf on a shelf move all by itself? That is kind of weird. I mean, the whole purpose of the elf on the shelf is to tell Santa Claus if you've been naughty or nice. That's why the elf on the shelf sits and watches you. And crazier than that, if you accidentally touch the elf on a shelf, you don't get any Christmas present. I actually showed you guys this video in the last video I made, but there was a girl who accidentally touched her elf on a shelf and she called 911. It was kind of funny, not gonna lie. All right, so Izzy, you had an emergency the other night. What happened? My elf fell out of the stocking. And you called? 911. 911. And it's a fell out there. Don't come to my house, so don't. I was very scared. I got scared I wasn't going to come. These little magical elves have been known to fly across from your house all the way back to the North Pole overnight to report your daily activity to Santa Claus. And then when they fly back overnight to your house, they change complete positions. So your elf could be sitting on the shelf one day. And the next day, who knows, maybe your elf will be in the refrigerator so you cannot steal that Taco Bell that was left over. <laughs> Not like I did that or anything. I've seen really creepy articles online where people have said that they thought their elf on a shelf was actually haunted. Their elf has moved and it didn't go back to the North Pole. It just started walking around. Just really creepy stuff about how the elf's cheeks and facial expressions would literally change all by themselves overnight, which is not even supposed to be physically possible. And even scarier than that is some of the photographs I have seen of elves on the shelf on Google. Have you guys seen some of these photos? Like, whoa, they're elf on a shelf. That's a little bit much, but okay. Don't even get me started on that photo. That's a, it's a little bit much, guys. But since elf on a shelf has become kind of a normal tradition for many households in America, at least, and worldwide, they actually sell these popular children's toys pretty much everywhere during the Christmas season. And not only that, but accessories for your elf. You can make an elf astronaut. You can get a reindeer for your elf on a shelf and it can ride it around. I mean, the endless possibilities of an elf on the shelf. Imagine the money the elf on the shelf has made. I mean, like, annually, probably a lot of money. But as you guys know, my elf on a shelf that I bought from the dark web was a bad idea. I actually got an elf on the shelf from the dark web, which claimed to be haunted. I didn't believe it, but now I do. Basically, in my last video, he had attacked me, even told Talk to me, and even scarier than that, I found a present. No way! It's so shiny. Oh my gosh, it must have been from Santa. And today, we're gonna open it at 3 a.m. and see what it is. Let's go. Okay, guys, so as you guys know, in the last video, I found this map and it led me to a gift. And I brought the gift inside and I literally left whatever was inside the gift inside of the box and I have not opened it yet. I have not opened it yet because I found a note and some kind of weird thing in it and I don't wanna mess with it and I'm kind of scared. But tonight, guys, we're going to open it up and see what's inside of the gift box. So I don't need this map anymore. But this gift box has something crazy inside of it, guys. I'm honestly kind of nervous to see what's inside of here. What is this? Drink? What? Do not drink? Do not drink what? What does that mean? Oh, no. It's some kind of weird blood looking potion. Oh, what the 
heck? This is not a gift from Santa. Well, maybe it is. Maybe someone's trying to trick me. Maybe that evil elf put that note in there because he's jealous that I got a present from Santa. In fact, where did that elf go, guys? I have not seen my elf on the shelf for quite a while now. It could be anywhere in here. Elf? Did you go back to the North Pole? Elf, where did you go? Elf? What the heck? Elf, how did you get a knife? What are you doing on my blender? You're not allowed to make cakes. Dude, that's way too dangerous. You can't make cupcakes. Hey, leave me alone. I'm sorry, dude. I didn't mean to hurt you, but... Hey, stop touching me. That's against the rules. Put me down. Okay, I'll put you down. But I just want to know that you... Other 16-year-olds are thinking about driving a car or going to the high school dance, but Megan wasn't a typical 16-year-old. She was diagnosed with an autoimmune disease that compromised her liver. She was put on the organ transplant list and started to wait. I'll put you down, but I just want to know, did you, did you mess up my Christmas present? No! Why would I do that? I don't know, because you don't like me? Who said I don't like you? I, I don't know. Um, would you want me to move you somewhere else? No, leave me here or else. Okay, I'll leave you there, man. Okay, I'm sorry, I'll leave you alone. That's kind of weird. I do not trust that guy. I think there's something wrong with my elf. I know he's from Dark Web. I seriously don't trust him. I think it's haunted, but I am going to listen to him and leave him there just because I don't want any trouble. And I do think he did mess with Santa's gift, so I'm gonna see what it really is. Okay, since it says not to drink it, guys, don't tell anybody, but I'm gonna do it. I mean, it might be a magical potion of some sort. I have to take this. I, maybe it's Kool-Aid. I love Kool-Aid, guys. I don't know. Santa knows I like Kool-Aid. Maybe it's like some kind of like soda. I don't know, but I need to drink it. <gasps> what if it's a love potion? I mean, that would be so cool. All right, I'm going to try it and see what happens, guys. Okay, guys, so I'm going to take this potion, and I do not know what's inside. That smells like a lot of candy. Honestly, I like candy. Don't get me wrong, guys, but this smells like as if I dumped an entire barrel of like really sour candy canes into a potion. I don't know why I wanted to drink this, but I feel like I said it's from Santa Claus, so maybe it will make me turn into a pony or something. That would be so cool. All right, we're going to take it. Three, two, one. watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to hit the subscribe button, be sure to drop a like, and be sure to leave a comment down below. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.